Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are good. So in this video, we'll try to explore REST API Explorer. Okay. And we'll try to understand how can we use REST API Explorer. So first quickly, let me tell you what is REST API Explorer. So ServiceNow REST API's Explorer is an application to construct and test API's request to a ServiceNow instance. Okay. So this REST API Explorer is a very good tool in the ServiceNow. So using this tool, you can construct APIs as well as you can taste the APIs which has been constructed. Okay. So let's come here. So you have to type REST API in the filter navigator and you have to go to REST API Explorer under REST System Web Services. Okay. So here you could see namespace and here api's name so in api's name we are having different type of api's okay so i've already explained all those thing in my previous video so in table api's if i have selected table api you could see here allow you to create read update and delete crude operation on an existing table okay so whatever table has been existed in service now you can uh, you can do integration on that table and all this operation crude operation you can perform on those table okay so if i go and change the table to import set api let's see here so once i selected import set api allow you to create with import set so it will allow you to create uh, interact with import sets so whatever import set you will create or already existing import set it will allow you to interact with those import sets okay so this is how you can select the api name here and this is the api version and the main important part is here okay so let's go back to table api so first we'll try to understand table apis then we'll go to import set api okay so here once we have selected a uh, table api you could see this methods okay so this methods also i will already explain so you could see here we are having gate post put patch delete so by using this http method we can perform crude operation okay so for gate so once we ha i have selected this gate you could see here retrieve record from table so gate is uh, added and here some link has been populated okay so that means in this format our apis or endpoint will be generated okay so here prepare request how can you prepare the request so let's see how can we create a endpoint okay so if i want to uh, create endpoint or incident table i have to select incident table over here so let's select it okay what is happening okay so you can select here incident table so we are what we are doing is we are creating an endpoint on an incident table okay so here i have selected the table and now you can select the query parameters okay so here you could see name so sys param query okay so you can provide here encoded query so in description you could see it is quite self-explanatory you can read and you can understand like what is happening with sys query so you can set here any encoded query okay to filter the result so if i have selected here and i'll make a uh, endpoint on this incident table and i have selected here get method so it will retrieve all the records which are in this table so if you want to filter the query you filter the data what you can do is you can set here query for example if i set state equals to true state equals to work in progress i can provide the backend value of that so it will only fetch the record which is in progress like whatever query we provide here so based on any field you can provide the query here okay encoded query and you can set in a multiple of a query on the multiple fields as well so that will work fine here you could see sysparam display value so that is used to return value for the reference field so you can go through all these things you can read and you will you would be able to understand what this query does okay you could see here sysparam limit so here you could see 
you can set the limit uh, so if you are using this limit for tasting purpose so you could set here you can increase the limit also you can go and change the limit for this attribute in the dictionary and you would be able to change the limit as well you can add more so for tasting purpose like it has given one or ten um just for tasting purpose okay so this all query you can read you can add your own query as well uh, so you can add your custom query if uh, it's, it's required like this many like however uh, like if you want many you can add here okay so now here let's understand request headers okay so for request headers you are having a request format response format and authorization okay so like format you can select here whether you want in json xml or text like however you want and rest support json xml and text so you can select according to like how you want so in this format only like whatever you select in this format only re request and response will be generated okay here let's talk about authorization so you can select i mean it is by default selected send as me so like <clears throat> So like whatever user is there uh, that it will be selected as that user okay and here also you can add your own header as well so let's do something so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one api so here if i have selected only incident table it will fetch all the incident table so let's go to incident table and i want to add some encoded query in the filter and I want to put it here, okay. So I want only work in progress uh, ticket. So I'm going to select here, state is work in progress, okay. And I can copy this, you know, query and I can directly paste, paste it here. So it supports encoded query as well okay so now you can click on send so once you clicked on send you could see here this http method and uri get generated so this is our api which has been generated so we'll try to test this api through postman tool also so first we'll understand here so headers uh, you could see whatever you have selected and this is x user token okay so here in response you could see a status code is 200 that means so it is okay and all this information you could see and if you see a response body it has been generated in the json because we have selected json format okay so now what we'll do so here also you could see like our status code is 200 so like uh, you could see here we have um, created uh, this api and it is working fine so what i'll do is i'll take this apis and i'll try to test it from postman tool okay so you can download this postman tool and you can create your account here so from postman tool also we can test the endpoint so here what you have to do is you have to select the method like whatever method so on create you have created api so we have created on get only so get is selected so we don't have to do anything here you have to put your endpoint okay so once you put your endpoint what you have to do is you have to so see here param or like whatever parameter we have given here those are automatically selected here right so we had given this is param query state equals to in work in progress and this says param limit equals to 10 you can change your limit so here only we are having by default this 10 if you want to check like actually how many so you can increase this param also or uh, limit also like 100,000 and here you have to select the authorization so type let's select basic auth and let's provide username and password here so I have created one user for just for testing purpose so let me take that user name and id okay so user id is test.user 
and you can provide the password okay and here in header you can select contact type as JSON okay application JSON now you can send this click on send so you could see your request is being sent and here you could see in body here status you could see 200 okay time time size and everything and here you can see the result okay so like all this um, five, four incident we are having work in progress so those will be paste here okay so this is how you can test apis from postman tool as well so let's come here and let's change uh, from a retrieve a record from table get to post okay and let's see uh, in post uh, we can create a new record okay so if you select here incident table let's see how can we do that okay so here you can select incident table and once you selected this incident table you can come down and here you are having request body so builder and raw so here you can write from your end also if you know the json you can write in json format but in builder if you select add field you can select the add field so let's um, create one new um record from uh, rest api explorer okay so here you can provide let's provide something here sort description i am providing here taste rest api okay and if you want to add more field you can add it here so let's add one more description i am giving the same description one two three something and like you can take any of the field from here and you can pass the value here okay and once you click on send what it will does what it will do it will create a new record okay so you could see here so this is our api we can use this api and we can create a new record from postman tool also i i will show you that as well here you could see 201 http status code and it is created it's saying created and if you come down here you can find the incident number so this has been created okay and all the details ha have been given here so if you copy this incident and click here let's go to all maybe it has been created in some other state yeah for this one only so in new state that's why we are not able to see that so this incident has been created from here itself the same you can do it uh, from postman tool also for the testing purpose so what you have to do is you have to copy the api which we have created where it went oh okay sorry here so this you have to copy you have to select the post method here you can paste it here and in body what you can do is you can pass like whatever things uh so in the, in the json format you can pass so i'm copying this and passing the same here in body right so now you can click on see here you one more thing so here you can select any of format so whatever you know from here you can send in that format so we have selected json and it has auto generated this uh, request body in json format once we selected field and everything so i just copied and pasted here if i click on send let's see so see this one so this one has been created this incident if you come and you go to all you could see this one three uh, 36 i copied the incident number as well so this one first one has been created from postman you can update also like just you need to change this method so modify record you can you know, use modify a record put and here 
in this format this api will get generated so you can select here table name so let's select incident only and you have to provide sys id of the record so let's update this one only so i'm copying sys id copy sys id passing the sys id here and what i want to update so now it's um sort description what is the sort description raised taste api okay now i want to put here raised api explorer update okay you can click on send see okay so this means it has been updated just refresh it and you could see see here this has been updated and the same you can do it from postman tool also just you need to change it to put okay you need to change the api yeah here is the api you have to pass this api and we have given the same society so it will update that incident only okay so let's give that and in body all again you need to take it from body this one let's take it and here i'll change the sort description here i'll add one two three four five six taste okay let's send it come and refresh here so you could see this has been updated so this is how you can use this api explorer to create an api for testing purpose and this postman tool is also very helpful who does not have access to you know rest api explorer and if they want you want to test it more than 10 uh, number so you can use or uh, here you can increase the limit i told you right param uh, so yeah you can change the limit you can add the key and value in parameters and you can do the testing so this api explorer is very helpful in term of you can uh, i mean simple apis you can create from here also and if you have to create you know some complicated lengthy api and you need to get more table so you can use this scripted api as well so we'll learn in further videos and uh, how we do uh indication or with third party tool using rest api will understand in our further videos so i hope uh, this video is helpful if you find my videos helpful please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching